is the antibiotic cream. And that's it, we're gonna do our second check in a moment. But see, it's a weird concept with curled nails when you think of leaving the nail grow longer because you think it might be worse. But once you get the corner past the front, it's better. Because when you cut down the side and you leave a sharp corner, and the nail's very curled, it's going to poke right into the skin. Yeah. And you like cutting your nails short, yeah. right? We can see the rest of them. So it must be hard for you to look at that long toenail. I know. <laughs> look, that's my soft. And so that's another thing too, right? Yes, it feels better leaving it long, but now you have other issues. Yeah. So what's nice about after this procedure, you should be able to cut the nail short and you won't have to worry about any corner. But I have to keep this long, right? That one, you, yeah. that's going to be your weapon, the other one. <laughs> That's the one you can poke people with. So we're going to put a little rubber band on, a little tourniquet, so there's very little to no blood during the procedure, so we can see everything nice and clear. We're going to do our second check in a moment. I like this, but this is like the Christmas present. I get to unwrap it. <laughs> so we're gonna do our second check. So I'm just gonna cover the toe for a second. So anything sharp here? Nope. Over here? Nope. Down here? Nope. Down here? Awesome. So first step, we separate the nail from the nail bed. So it comes out nice and easy. <laughs> Not feeling a thing, right? So this is really cool to see how curled. So this is the angle of that curve. It's like this. Not like really on like a 45 degree angle. And get around this corner. So this is the hard part. If I just take the nail here, Mm -hmm. you're still gonna have a problem. We really have to go enough to make sure that we don't get any curl left. Yeah, I leave it up to you though. Whatever is required. Yeah. I appreciate so it. It doesn't matter one and one or two and one plus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do this side first. So just getting that corner, this one out. One down. So your toenail's going on a diet today. Yeah. It's gonna be nice and skinny. Mm -hmm. skinny. That's right. So. We'll do this side first. So we can see a little spike here. There's that piece here. So very wide and curled. This is the width of it this way. But what you see from the top is only like that. One down. There's this guy. Look at the bend. Look at the angle. Look at the curl. Oh, look, at, look at the hook around. So it's amazing to see. Look at that edge there. So from the top, like that, but it's really like this wide. Very cool, and that ridge is so firm. 
And so this also is a big problem. All this hard skin in here is like a callus. It's like a scar from all the pressure between the nail and the skin, getting all that out. And this is actually gonna allow the body to fill that up with new healthy tissue and to be nice and flat. There's gonna be no divot, no gaping hole. The body will literally fill this in with new tissue. So the end of the nail will automatically smooth it up, right? So you see the white part? Yeah. Now you can cut straight across and not have to worry about anything hiding because that is literally the end of the nail. There's nothing growing past that line that we made. And then the skin will actually be flat. So you see how it's the big dip? Yeah. It will be smooth. Okay. So, so the skin won't be sharp, right? It won't be sharp, this no. End. Yeah, no, this end won't be sharp. <clears throat> So we're just gonna do a little check to make sure everything underneath is clear. There's no little wide piece left behind. Dead skin. So the bed's got that one. And that's basically it. We add the acid and the corner doesn't grow back. Yeah, of so course. The nail goes all the way in, right? Yes. So when you cut it and when you broke it, yeah. so the part where it breaks off, so... So I didn't leave any piece. So that's the whole root of the nail. Okay. All the way to the very end. So all this in here... Oh, wait, you pulled it up from the root. From the root, yeah. And that's a good question to ask. So, and good for the camera to see too. You can see there's a white part. Yes. See. See how the yellow mm -hmm. only goes up to here? Yes. That's the cuticle. This is underneath the cuticle. Okay. This is the whole nail root. Okay. So this. That's everything. No, that's everything there. And it's, it's like this actually. So see how much wider you think it is? But yes. it's actually <laughs> like that. And so now the nail cells are exposed in that space. Okay. And what we are basically doing is killing them with the acid so they never create new nails. So the root doesn't grow back. Exactly. But does acid last forever? Acid lasts forever. Well, it lasts right now. We're, we do the damage in this moment. We're basically scarring the cells. Now, there's a couple mistakes with this procedure that people do. Number one, there's no blood that you see now. If there's too much blood, if there's too much blood, it will wash out the acid. Oh, yeah. So too much blood is no good. Right. So number one problem, the tourniquet is no good or too much bleeding. The second problem, people sometimes do this, they do it one more time and that's it. It won't, it's not enough to kill the nail. We do this multiple times. So people sometimes don't add enough acid to kill the corners. So that's if it goes back, it will so be you're terrible. Adding acid right now. Mm -hmm. We're adding acid right now. Okay. If it goes back, then it will grow back in the curled nail. Right? It's the same way. Yeah. Same. It'll grow back the same way. Yeah. And so that's mistake number two, not enough acid. And mistake number three is you don't take enough of the nail. Mm -hmm. So if you take half of what we took, there's still gonna be that little bit of a curl and it's gonna cause you discomfort. So for certain cases, especially yours with such a big curl, you have to take a little bit more of a nail. For the other toe, let's say if you ever had to do it, we just have to take a sliver. So that's it, now you know how to do it yourself. <laughs> so, can I ask you, uh, can I request you one thing? Yeah, of course. Can you help me out cutting the top part? Because I need to know how much I can go deep. Yep, I can show you after. Okay, yeah. we'll put the foot back here. Awesome, you relax it. There we go. So to me, I would, you can go cut like you normally cut. You can be able to cut all the way the, the white off. Yeah. So again, some people very light on the acid. I'm very aggressive. So it does create a little bit more 
discomfort and trauma, more of a chemical burn to the skin, but it reduces your chance of it coming back. So to me, it's better just to be more aggressive and now. That's the whole point. Of it, right? it is the whole point. Damage, burn. It's a, it, it, it causes skin damage. But that's actually what we, we want yeah, in this case. It, other than that? No. Again, it is toxic. So if you were to breathe this, ingest this, it would not be very good. Mm -hmm. But we're just applying it. Still technically relatively superficial. Mm -hmm. We're not going into the joints. We're not applying it to a muscle or anything. But again, it's, it's a caustic. It's, it, it burns. So when I re remove so much dead skin like that, mm -hmm. we do sometimes get a little bit more bleeding. So that's completely normal for it to bleed after I take off the tourniquet. Mm -hmm. If it bleeds through the bandage I put on, that's normal as well. Okay. We would just change the bandage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is rubbing alcohol. This is what neutralizes the acid, so no more reaction. Okay. But it doesn't wash it. No, it, 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 it stops the acid from working, but we've applied it enough okay. to kill the nail cells. They're not going to grow back now. Okay. All those years and now they're just dead. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, that, that was it. So what I would say for you in the future is this is not our normal nail cutter, but you should cut nail is we can go Like that, like normal. Okay. Just like you normally would cut your nail. You don't have to worry about cutting the nail short and having problems because we've eliminated that bad part of the nail. It's nice to see the white plate now. It was all yellow before. Yes. So this is how you're going to take care of it. You're going to put antibiotic. the antibiotic cream. on either side, just enough to cover the corners. Okay. I'm putting a little bit more today. Just again, something similar. Okay. So you put on the cream and a Band-Aid, okay. or you can put the cream, a little bit of gauze, mm -hmm. and the wrap. Okay. It's very normal for it to bleed a little bit more the first one to two days, mm -hmm. especially when it's such a deep ingrown. Mm -hmm. So if it bleeds through this Band-Aid, just change it whenever you see that, okay? And after a few days, I can go for a walk, right? Whenever you feel comfortable. Now, I'm wrapping it a little bit more aggressive today just to reduce any bleeding. Yeah. But you can just wrap it once or twice around just to hold the gauze to the toe. So this I can change tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. So how and much gauze should I use? Like, how much? I'd say two to four pieces, no more than that. Okay. Again, I'm wrapping a little bit more just because I know these toes like to bleed. Mm -hmm. It don't bleed right now, not much. Because I was fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you just let it sit, it's the blood's good. gushing back. And I've learned mm -hmm. it's better just to wrap it quick. The, the, you have good blood flow to the foot, so I'm not worried about any issue. So again, these were the two pieces. This is that right side. And this is the, the left. So you can see the channel mm -hmm. it has, right? Look at the curl. Right, you can see that and you can see all in here and it's not a straight edge. You see the weird shape? Very hard corner. Again, it's nail, it's nail. <laughs> that was it. So you leave this on for today. Okay. Tomorrow morning, you can shower, like I said, if you want. Take everything off, put a new bandage on. I'll wait till Sunday. Yeah.